The Starks finally arrive with the convoy at King's Landing. Ned is immediately called to a meeting. Meanwhile, he speaks to Jamie, who recounts how the Mad King killed Ned's father and brother by burning them. Jamie eventually killed the Mad King. At the meeting, Lord Baelish says he used to know Ned's brother Brandon. The Maester then gives Ned the badge of the Hand of the King, and so they begin discussing the kingdom's affairs. Joffrey is not interested in Sansa. Cersei tells him after marrying her, he can still do whatever he likes when he becomes king. They also consider the Starks as enemies. Arya is angry over what happened to their wolf and her friend who the hound killed. She is upset about everything and feels that Sansa betrayed her. Ned asks about her sword and then tells her that Sansa has to marry Joffrey and can't go against him. They mustn't fight one another in this dangerous place. Bran's nanny tells him a story of a long winter, a darkness that lasted a generation where white walkers swept all over humanity and killed many. Rob then enters to question Bran, but he doesn't remember what happened. Bran will never be able to walk again. When Caitlyn arrives in King's Landing, she is told by some guards to follow her. She is then led into a brothel, owned by Lord Baelish. Varys knew about her arrival due to his spies. He then asks about the dagger. Baelish says that this dagger used to be his, but he lost it in a bet to Tyrion Lannister. At the Night's Watch, Jon beats everyone during sword practice. After the practice, the guys try to kill Jon, but when Tyrion enters and threatens them, they back off. Jon's disappointed that his father didn't tell him that this place was so bad. Tyrion says that everyone here has a specific background. He then hands him a letter about the awakening of his brother. Baelish then brings Ned to his establishment to meet Caitlyn. He states that to suggest that Tyrion ordered the assassination would be treason. Caitlyn says that Baelish would never betray them and so he says that he'll try to protect Ned. Cersei is not happy with Jaime since he sent the assassin to Bran. He tells Cersei that he'll kill all the Starks if the boy remembers anything. Before leaving, Caitlyn wants to see the girls, but Ned says it's too dangerous. He can't do anything without proof for now. The king recounts his past battles and tells Jaime to come in. He mocks the Lannisters and then asks what the Mad King said after he was stabbed in the back by Jaime. He says the same thing he'd been saying for hours. Burn them all. Khaleesi commands the herd to stop for a moment as she's taking some air. Her brother charges at her for daring to command him. He's then taken down by one of the men who is then told by Khaleesi to release him. Viserys commands Jorah to kill the man, but he ignores it. Jon enters a lift that brings him to the top of the wall. Once there, he meets his uncle Benjen. As they look down, he tells Jon that he's going out there since he's first ranger. There have been disturbing reports. When Jon wants to join him, he tells him he's not ready. Tyrion jokes with a man called Euron. Benjen enters and rebukes him for jesting around at such a dangerous place. Tyrion says there's only wildlings and nothing else beyond the wall. Benjen tells him that he has never been beyond it and shouldn't lecture him. Jorah and the Thraki are told that Khaleesi is pregnant and needs some meat. Jorah will be heading somewhere first. At the Night's Watch, the Maester says that a long winter is coming soon. The Lord Commander says that there are reports of wildlings fleeing south due to white walkers. Tyrion denies it yet again. The Maester says that the Night's Watch are less than a thousand men and can't man all the castles of the Wall and the resources are becoming scarce. They ask Tyrion to intercede with his sister for help before the terrible winter comes. Jon finds it unfortunate that Tyrion is leaving but asks him to convey his greetings to his brother at Winterfell. Arya will be taught the art of sword fighting by Sirio.